Hi everyone and welcome welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Camden and recently I got my first ever logo design job. So I wanted to document the process and make a video as I create this logo for a small business. I am super super excited to get to work so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So the business I am designing for has already explained to me what it is they're looking for and gave me some examples of things that they like. So I've already gotten started a little bit but right Right now I'm just going to start coming up with concepts that I can send them over for the first half of the job and then if they're happy with those and they want to proceed I will refine the design that they like and go ahead and get that to them for their logo. This is what I'm working with so far. I think it's actually turning out really cute so I'm going to finish this first design that I've started on and try to work on a few more as well. Okay, so here's the first little concept and rough draft I'm working with. Here's the Inspire that they wanted in the LNC. I incorporated established in 2020 by putting a little chalk sign inside of the plant that they wanted. I think it's super cute, so I hope they will like this one, but I'm gonna get started on another concept now. I continued creating and designing until I had six different concepts or ideas for their logo. This was just the rough draft. Um, so after I finished designing all of those ideas I had, I made a little PDF and it looks like this. And I went ahead and emailed that over to them. I let them take their time um, just looking at all my different ideas and I waited for their feedback. They did decide to go ahead and go on with me for the second half of the job. And I got to go ahead and design their actual logo, which was so exciting. So they told me the different elements that they liked from the different logos. I ended up numbering the different concepts. Um, that was my dad's idea. And it ended up helping a lot so that we could communicate between each other easily and know exactly what the other was talking about. So they liked certain elements from certain concepts. And I took those things that they liked and I put them together and refined it as they asked me to. There was just a lot of back and forth and adjustments until they were happy. So once they liked that, I went ahead and cleaned it up, made it look really nice. And they also so wanted to be able to use this logo on a black background or a white background so I had to make a few adjustments and make different versions to send over to them but just a few color tweaks so I went ahead and did that and then I sent over all of their files through email as PNGs so that they could use them for just anything. A PNG has a transparent background so you can put it on whatever you'd like. They seemed to be really happy with the finished product and that made me feel really good. This whole thing was a really gratifying process seeing their ideas come to life and just helping them you know create the Brand that they wanted to have. So I really, really enjoyed the logo design process. It was definitely a learning experience. They were super helpful and sent me, you know, examples of different logos that they liked. They answered some questions I had for them so I could get to know their style better and their brand better. But I had so much fun and now I offer logo design as another service for Kainaya, my business. I have all the links in my description box if you're ever interested. I'm super excited to continue on with this. I really wanted to document this process and talk about my experience with my first design job. So thank you guys for watching this little short video. If you have any questions, I would love to answer them. 
this is just my experience and my first time doing this sort of thing. So I'm definitely not an expert, but I really enjoyed it and I'm excited to see where it leads. I love you all so much and I'll see you on my next video.